I wasn't able to verify this video, but it's alleged, right, that these are suitcases of cash belonging to um, Ali Bongo's son, right, so the deposed president of Gabon, and also uh, the finance minister, I believe it was. But again, I I'm not sure about this. In any case, these are suitcases of cash, um, and, and, you know, they were supposedly, f uh, you know, getting them ready to flee the country, and then they got caught. Here it is. So you've got euros, uh, CFA franc, and uh, some other currencies bundled in there. I mean, it certainly looks uh, unsavory. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this, this is what I was saying before, and, and it kind of speaks to um, uh, my, the, the point I, I made earlier, you know, about you have a certain number of people, really, a, literally a handful of people who are collaborators with the colonial powers. And you see this in, in African countries, in Arab countries, where, wherever you had French, you know, and, and a British uh, colonizers, especially because this was... was you know, re recently, it, it, it's the present even, it extends to the present. You have a small group of people who, who, who basically screw the whole country over just to enrich themselves. And this is what France engineered in Africa with Franck Afrique. They said, you know, we'll give you military protection, we'll give you weapons, we'll, we will save you from any potential coup d'etats and anyone who tries to take power from you. And, 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 you know, make sure you get kickbacks, you get money uh, f uh, from this and enrich yourselves in exchange for you allowing French companies, and of course these companies are controlled and, and owned by the, the French government, um, to come into your country and extract the resources, and of course France, for any new minerals or, or oils that are discovered, France will have first refusal rights, and you know, it's, it's basically like selling the, the entire country and its resources and its wealth to France for this, for suitcases of cash. So this is, this is a sad reality. And, and, and what's good about these coups is that you have these young men, you know, like our generation who are really, op you know, their eyes are wide open about what, what's going on uh, and, and aware of, of this neo-colonial um, uh, era and putting an end to it. And that's why you see so many coups um, uh, in, in West Africa and now Gabon. Uh, and, and these are countries that used to be controlled by France. So they're getting, these young men are getting rid of the old regime, the, 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 these leaders like Bongo, like Bazoum, who really just work for France. You, you don't get to control a country in Africa for 53 years without France or Britain or America killing you. Uh, um, you know, uh, for, for, you, you, that, that doesn't happen unless you're corrupt. You're, you're, serving, you're serving them in one way or another. And that's why they allow you to remain in power that long. That's the only reason, the only way, right? And you see now what happens in Niger, as soon as they have actual independence, say, oh, we're going to put sanctions on you. We are going to invade you. This is the same playbook you see everywhere else. You know, why, why do you think Iran and, and Syria, um, you know, and, and, and Gaddafi, they, they, all these countries that have different political systems and, uh, you know, or Venezuela, what, what do all these countries have in common? They're independent. You know, they said, screw you to uh, European and Western colonialism. I will have my own foreign policy. You know, we're going to have our own foreign policy. We are not going to allow your corporations to come in and steal all the resources. We're going to do things our way. And then they put sanctions on them. And then they, they try to attack them and, and destroy them in various ways. You understand? 